Right, new day here on Quarantine Island in Phuket. Today's a moving day, so had this beautiful room with this private pool. Y'all have seen it several times if you've been watching my channel with that gorgeous view of the beach out there. And it's been great. I really enjoyed it. But today's a moving day. So I'm going to be still at the same resort here at the Centaura Grand Beach Resort. But I'm moving to a new room for the next seven days on there. Uh, this one will not have a private pool, uh, but it will have an ocean view, still, still really nice room. Uh, the reason that I'm moving is because this week I'm not going to be at the resort very much. I'm going to be taking um, boat tours out to different places um, away from Phuket because I don't actually have to stay on the island now because uh, I have done my full seven, zero plus seven days um, Shaba uh, quarantine, I guess you call it. Uh, and now I can venture out to other parts away from Phuket where I can take boats out and I can go snorkeling, go to the sandbars, I can do scuba diving, um, I can go to James Bond Island, I can go to uh, Koi Fifi or Fifi Island. And so not going to be in a room that much. I'll be coming home at night and no reason to really pay to have a private pool that I'm not going to use. So uh, essentially the room that I'm going to now is, and I'll show you in this video, is uh, less than half the price. I'm paying like $48 a night to, uh, to stay there. And I think they just got here to get our luggage and move us to the next room. So cool. So I'll see you in the new room and I'll show you and we'll say one last goodbye to the pool. All right, see y'all in a few minutes. like 48 bucks a night for this ocean view room the other one was like i don't know 110 120 dollars something like that a night that had the pool so this one's it's basically the same layout for the most part i mean obviously it doesn't have the private pool um, but i'll show you around show you the differences the um, starters it does not have a coffee maker with the little uh, like keurig cups uh, complimentary two waters a day it's got a mini bar if you're into that stuff. Looks like down here. Yeah, another mini bar. Oh. Yeah, basically stocked exactly the same as uh, the other one was. Got uh, some storage there. It does have a, a kettle that you can, uh, you can warm your water and then it's got like the little, yeah. Little stuff to make tea and coffee with that's complimentary. And then in here is the the view coming in. Yep, that's on. Okay. And uh, we'll see the ocean out there. It's kind of a nasty day. But let's go to the bathroom. Always a winner. You got the partition door that you can close it. And then it's basically, the, it looks like the same setup as my original room at this resort. You got the... Uh, the toilet with the bum gun, telephone, in case you're seriously craving room service, really big shower. This one's, uh, hmm. Yep, the shower in the other one was just slightly bigger. I mean, not much, but uh, just slightly bigger in the other one. You've got the, uh, the wand shampoos and body wash this super cool 
gigantic raindrop shower, which I absolutely love those. And then same size bathtub as I had at the other one. A fancy looking backsplash behind it. Gigantic sink. Uh, it's got the stools to sit on. Can sit here. The girls can do their makeup. Uh, plenty, plenty of space in the bathroom. And then here, this actually opens up. So you can keep it closed or you can go for that full open room fill if you want to. And you got a king size bed, nightstand on either side and complimentary spray alcohol for your hygiene. Got your TV, umbrella, little desk or workstation. Hopefully, hmm, the other one had power. Okay, good, we've got power back here. I was gonna say, that would not be good if we didn't have a place to plug in for the laptops. And then if you look back from the bedroom, you can see in the back to the bathrooms. How funny, there's some sort of light back there pulsing, which I can see on the screen here, but I can't see with the human eye. These cameras, like, they're crazy. They pick up all kinds of stuff. So anyway, also over here, got a couch. I sat down on it when we first came in and the cushion's comfortable. It's basically like the outside couches here, but there's no back, no back cushions. So eh, I guess it'll be all right. And then here you have your blackout curtains that come down or blinds. Unlike the other one, uh, that the other one room, they're automatic. I had a remote control that would do all this. And boy, it is pouring the rain. And then here is just a window, full window. Again, you've got your blackout shades. And this window here opens in case you want some breezes. And then we'll go out here See if it's unlocked, locked, ah, to the outside. And it is pouring the rain. I'm hoping that this is as waterproof as my other balcony was, but you've got the lounge chairs. These recline back and they don't have the little pull out stools to prop your feet up. Oh yes, they do, they're underneath. So you pull these out here and you can go all the way out, prop your feet up, and can sit and watch the view. Place to dry your bathing suits. And that's the view. So still can see the adult pool right there. And then we're higher up than we were before, so we've got more views of the ocean. Take a look, I haven't been out here yet. See what it looks like. Okay, not bad, rainy, rainy. Yeah, you can see more of the resort from here on this side though, because like I said, we're a floor higher up. But if you look right there, not this one, but that one right there, that private pool villa that's now getting lots of rain was where I was staying before. So one up from there, Seems pretty dry, given that it's raining. So, this is where I'm gonna be staying. And, unfortunately, I see the birds have got here before me. Yuck. All right, so let's go inside, less humid. Prevent from getting wet, wet. Nice timing, though. I wouldn't have been able to use the pool much more today anyway. It would have, well, I guess I could have in the rain as long as it wasn't lightning. Um, but, so the main reason that I switched rooms, I, th I think I said in the other one, but just to make sure, is I'm not going to be in the room much for the next couple weeks. Like I say, I'm going to be out and about, and it made no sense to pay so much more for a pool that I wasn't going to be using. So, um, you know, like I say, this is like 48 bucks a night 
Really nice place that also comes with the buffet breakfast every single morning, which is a ton of food. Um, uh, but it's all included. If you just come here and you stay and you haven't prepaid for your room, um, or for the, if it wasn't included, I guess it's uh, 780 baht. So like, good God, like 20 something bucks to eat that buffet, um, which is good, but I mean, uh, it's Thailand. I can do a lot better than that, but it was included in this room. So no big deal. Uh, breakfast for two every single morning. Great stuff. All right, so that is the room tour. And again, it was a moving day, so they were really, really nice here. Let us stay in the other room um, until uh, this one got, got ready for us. And then they came, picked up all of our luggage, brought it upstairs. Just a great, great five-star resort, I mean, experience. And um, so I guess we're, I think it's about 2.30 now. So anyway, at this point, I hadn't had lunch yet. So we're gonna go kind of do a lunch dinner thing um, run out to the mall because um, we've got to start looking for some permanent residents here on Phuket or at least for a month we're gonna probably after we get done with our the vacation part we're probably gonna stay in Phuket for about a month before we start hopefully heading north um, to the rest of Thailand all right hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the room tour and I will catch you in the next one from quarantine island signing out